And we're about to uh, hear the Chandler High School Band in 3A, and that's uh, directed by Cheryl Kitamura, another one of those teachers who's there for her students, always looking to their future. She thinks past their high school enrollment and what they're going to become and what they should be, and we get a lot of leaders at the ASU Marching Band out of her high school band, Chandler High School. Assistant Director, another one of our alums, Ryan Samaru. And the drum majors this year are Adeline Lizarraga, and Zachary Hartke, uh, and their show, we're going to watch, we're going to talk about it afterwards because they're taking the field very quickly, but check out the props. It's an awesome looking field we're taking a look at here, and uh, we, got, we got a chance to guess what we're about to see. So we'll, we'll talk about it after the show's over. Uh, the guard is in the most unusual uniforms of the day. If you watch really carefully, no, they're not props, they're guard members, and a lot of good color the for our broadcast here. I like the sousaphones in baby blue on the backfield. Drum major Adelina Lizarraga and Zachary Hartke. Your band ready. Band ready. Chandler, Chandler High School. High School. We take the field, field for competition. competition.
Ladies and gentlemen, under the direction of Cheryl Kittamura and Ryan Seminole, Chandler High School. At this time, we will take a 30 minute break. We will resume at 5.36 with the beginning of Class 4A competition in Highland High School. Again, we'll resume at 5.36. Chandler High School, Cheryl Kitamura's band, uh, assisted by Ryan Simaru, and uh, they brought us a, a show with the most props that we've seen all day today. AK Kist is back visiting with me. Uh, he's our, uh, our district sales manager for Jupiter uh, uh, Band Instruments and Mapex Drums as well. Uh, he's also a judge in the California system and uh, in percussion and uh, has a learned eye. So. Tell me what you saw in this in this show. A very uh, interesting show to watch. I particularly liked the staging of the front ensemble in this show, uh, putting them back uh, on the field. You know, that requires a, a lot from those members. You know, they, they've really got to be paying uh, quite a bit of attention, being away from the front where they're used to being and, and right. comfortable with. They can, you know, they're used to being able to listen back, and now they got to be able to pay in a little bit more attention. And uh, they also did a really nice job of, of using a nice variety of colors in the front ensemble um, from a, uh, a tonal perspective and, and uh, just did a, a fantastic job. Lots of auxiliary percussion in there and, and I really liked a lot of their mallet work. Just did a, a very, very nice job. A very impressive front ensemble with this group. That's awesome. A lot of imagination used in the visual presentation. There was a uh, the wildest guard outfits of the day, uh, and and they're using uh, they're able to hide behind some of the props and reappear. Uh, a lot of color on the field, uh, preposition, and a lot of color brought to the field by the guard. It was it was a fun thing to watch and to listen to. I'm Cheryl Kitamura and Scott Bergener at Mountain View High School, which is coming up in a little while. Um, they're uh, always bringing these uh, highly imaginative shows uh, to the field and it's usually from a visual standpoint, like you weren't ready for what happens. That was just an awesome thing.